everybody. Angie here. Coming on to do a video with you guys. I am in need of some tags. So I thought today we could make some tags together. I have spent some time prepping all my pieces to save a little bit of video time. But here's a couple that I made I wanted to show you. And this is the um, layout, so to speak, that we're going to be making today. It's just a nice large tag, three and a half by seven inch. Good, large, sturdy tag. And it's just some layering with some paper and just different bits. I fussy cut um, some really, really pretty um, images from a garden book that I have. As you can see, here's one, and I've just been fussy cutting those. Did those off camera. Here's another one. And there's several you'll see um, as we go along in the video. And then um, here's the other one. And I just used just uh, some labels, some lace, some fabric for the um, tag topper, um, just some different bits. So I thought we could make some together because I'm in need of tags and they're always good to have some on hand anyway. Um, so yeah, let me put those aside. Let's get started. I've got my bases somewhat cut down to three and a half by seven, I think I do. Yep. And yeah, let's get started. I thought this would be fun. Um, I have a yellow flower, orange flower, yellow, red and yellow, purple. Hmm. Let's do a green one. So, how is everybody doing today? Hope everybody's well and good spirits. I'm doing good. Um, I just need to cut this one down. And we'll just use this one as a guide. Okay, set that off to the side. We'll do a green one, and this is just regular um, cardstock, blank cardstock, colored cardstock here. By the time we get our elements on here, it makes for a nice, nice sturdy tag. <clears throat> and like I said, it's a good size, fit in a nice large pocket on a page. So I have some vintage book page and then I have these um, like washi pages they're kind of like washi stickers I don't know I guess they're washi but um yeah I thought those would be fun to make the tags out of now I wanted my tags a little bit larger actually but since these are seven inches in height I just cut them down because because it just fits perfectly so and we can get pretty much we could get two or three out of a sheet. And all I'm doing is um, just depending how far, kind of go about halfway. So we'll just line that up and we'll just cut it right down. Okay. And then I do want a little bit of a matting edge. So I'm going to position my paper. Trim it accordingly. So we just need to trim a little bit off of this page. Now if you don't have these washi papers, no problem just use your scraps you can use digital um, images your um, digital kit papers coffee dye paper whatever you have I just have been sitting on these for a while and um, I've been wanting to make some like botanical themed um, tags so I thought today would be a good day to do that let me make sure I like that positioning here before I yeah that's good okay and let's go ahead and do our paper as well. And for that, I can just use half of the page and we can get usually pretty much get two tags out of one page of book page as well. So I need a straight edge and then I want a rough edge.
And then I want those to line up together. Okay, so that'll go on this side. Oops, did it backwards, didn't I? So you need the corner this side. Okay, let me recut that. We'll use that one on the next one and we'll reverse the papers. So that will go there, and this one will go on this side. And you just have to depend, decide which one you want to lay on top and which one you want to be the layer piece on the bottom. And I'll do the book page on the top, so let's do a rough tear here. try to do minimal ink but I do want to put just a little bit just to separate get the separation of the two pages papers okay and let's get that down here to help smooth that as I go and down we go okay and then this one just like that isn't that pretty I'm going to turn this a little bit kind of late in the day here and the sun is um, not as bright as I would like. Okay, get that started. And now we can walk the glue all the way up. Just like that. Isn't that nice? I love um, layering and combining more than one piece of paper. I think it's just so nice. I had this beautiful, beautiful um, paper pad, 12 by 12 paper pad that had some vintage pages on it and I have like two pieces left and I'm just so disappointed. It's lasted like two and a half years um, and I don't think I want to get that exact pad again, which I probably wouldn't find in the stores anyway. But um, I do love it, so I'm going to be really disappointed once I tear out those last couple pages. Okay, so now we got to figure out which um, colored flower I'm going to use here. I've got an orange one, I've got a yellow. Let's just see which one looks best. That one's not bad. Let's see this one. Ooh, that one looks really bright and pretty on 
that brown doesn't let's go with that one okay now when i cut these out let me show you i think i have somewhere i thought i did um Hmm, I might have cut them all. I guess I did. Huh. I thought I left a couple to show you. Well, let me grab the book. This is the book before we get started. Take a quick second. Actually, it's a book on herbs, um, but it's got the prettiest... Um, images this one I have two of them this one's in black and white and um, the other ones in color and let me see where that is oh, I guess I used them all but anyway they've got the most pretty images in them so I just fussy cut those and then it all on most of the page it, gi it gives you a little um, picture of of a you know the full the flower in full bloom or the herb whatever it is that they're displaying on that page and then it gives you the name of it along with how to pronounce it and what it is so I thought we'd kind of try to incorporate those pieces into each tag we'll see which on this one I used the I used the word label but I didn't use the uh, picture so even though this is a large tag we only have so much room um, so I like this let's go with that and then what I was doing was I wanted to use some of these little coin um, holders that I have I ordered these quite a long time ago and they're too small I didn't know what I was ordering as far as the size and they're so tiny it doesn't hardly give you anything to really view um, but I'm trying to slowly use those up so what I thought I'd do is I'm just cutting them in half. And I'm using my one inch circle punch. And I'm just cutting a larger hole. Trying to center it. And punching it out. Now, by doing that, I'm removing the little um, clear adhesive on the front, but that's okay. It's not a problem for me. And then I don't want this all white, so I am going to put a little ink around this. So we're going to add a little, kind of like a little specimen window layered element to our tags. And just give it a little bit of extra oomph. So let's see where we want to put that and then we'll put that right about there and then I've got to put my word label in because we want to know what type of herb we're looking dealing with on this one it is I um, shouldn't even try to pronounce that hemero hemero it's a day lily and it's in the lily family and I don't think I need that whole thing so I'm just gonna cut off label portion and use that because you know of course in our tags we want some type of a word element or a label of some sort and i think that suffices and works really really well just like that okay and then i wanted to put a little small tag coming out sideways out of this element here and i have these little tea cards and they've got flower oh this one's orange we'll just use this one so, um, but it's a little bit too big, so I just need to cut this down. And I'm just gonna try to guess. And the length I think is a little long as well, so we're just gonna trim off this white border and then we'll check our positioning. So this will go in and that should fit and that's definitely long enough and I like the fact that I just grabbed that top one it's orange and it fits with that orange too so that's good okay so we'll do that and then um, or we can do it this side hmm. OK, 
Okay, now the actual um, pronunciation part of the flower, I was using that and just using it as like a label element on the small tag right there. So we're going to do that as well. We're going to keep our pieces really simple, but when everything is done and everything is laid out together, I think it has a really nice cohesive blend and it looks really, really nice together. So we're just going to plop that down right there. And then we're going to put a little ink on this. And if you want to cut this into a tag shape, you can, or just leave it like a T-card, a rectangle, whatever you want to do there. And this is kind of hanging off, so I'm just going to trim that off. I'm just going to come right up from the bottom and just remove that leaf. Yeah, I think that's better. Something like that. Okay. And then... I want to put this right about there so we don't really need that portion of our flower. So I'm just going to make a little line there so I know where I need to trim that. Okay. All right, now we're ready to put that down. So let me position where I want everything. Right about there. Okay. Let's put this down, and I want that to go behind the flower petal. So before I push that petal down, I'm going to put my label element in there. Tuck that underneath. Just right about like that. Isn't that nice? I think it's beautiful. Okay, so now let's put this down. Just on three sides. And position that nice and oops, nice and straight. Forgot this is washy on the this element here, so it's kind of got a slick surface. So I gotta give it a chance to catch. There we go. Okay. This will tuck right in like that. Isn't that nice? And I think it's just a little bit long now, so I need to trim that off just a bit. So we're gonna do a little bit on both sides. And on the other ones, I cut them in a tag shape, but on this one, I think I'm just gonna leave it, gonna leave it square. Oh, a little more glue. Give that a second to catch. Okay, and then I thought also for added, I don't think we're gonna be able to fit this on here, huh? Could put it on the back, but we need some room for journaling. So we'll leave that off. This can always be used for something else. Okay, and then I thought what also would be really pretty is to add like some lace or something like that. And I have this little small trim. And that will just, the white on that will just kind of bring in and make it a little bit more little pop because you don't want all your colors to be real dark so I thought I'd put a little piece right here just right on the edge of our specimen card just all the different layers and textures That would look really pretty. And then for added measure, 
We'll do a fabric tag topper. And I have just some scrap of this pretty cotton fabric here. And then just did a zigzag cut all the way around. And that will fit right on there. So let's do that. And I'm just trying to move a little bit quickly. Let's see how many of these we can get made in our time allowed. Okay, so we're going to relatively do them all the same, but they'll all have different elements, focal images. So they'll all be unique. Okay. And then I added a pretty, another little piece right there along the top as well. I need to invest in some fabric glue at some point. For the most part, this art glitter glue holds up very well. But I do need to um, invest in some at some point. And there we go. Let me tuck this in. And we've got the back for journaling on our little small card here. Put a little ink on the back of that. Tuck that right in. The corner is catching there. There we go. Just like that, we've got ourselves a really, really pretty card. Tag, should I say? I'm sorry. Isn't that nice? Very nice. So let's do another one. I love it. Okay. So let's do a yellow one. Let's do yellow. Okay. We need to do our corners here. If you ever like mask making tags, I really do suggest like three and a half by seven is just the ideal size because it'll fit and hold, you know, for our larger pockets, fit in our larger pockets. And um, especially on those, you know, the big pockets that we make. Okay, so this will be this side, and do I have the other half of this, and I do. So, I think I want to cut it about there, and I can always use the extra for something else. Can't go wrong with a botanical tag or journaling card or journal. They are appropriate for any type of journal at any time. At least in my world they do. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that yellow. That yellow really stands out, doesn't it? That yellow really pops. Okay, so that will go down like that. Okay, let's do it. And on one of these, I actually stitched it because I wanted to see if the stitching, because I, lo I love stitching around my, my tags anyway, 
but um, I just wanted to see with everything else on our tag if that added, you know, took our tag to the next level, just kind of raised the bar a little bit. And um, although it looked nice, I don't think it really, I'll show you that again in just a moment if you didn't notice it when I showed it at the beginning, I'll show them all. But um didn't really do anything. I mean, it didn't elevate the, the tag like I thought it would. And it could be just because I just did a straight stitch. Maybe I needed to do a zigzag stitch or use a different color thread. Um, but uh, yeah. But stitching is always something that you can always add and, and do it later if you change your mind. So if you're making your tags and you're unsure, and then at the last minute you decide, yeah, I want stitching. That's a, that's a step that can always be added last. Okay, let's get this lined up. I think I need to trim just a hair off at the top and the side there. Get everything to line up nicely at the top and the bottom. And that's better. Okay, so now let's get that down. So, anyway, we are one day that we haven't had any rain today. We have literally, and I know I'm, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, because um, there's some places that are just really getting hit hard. But um, it's just kind of sad because it's our sign that summer's almost over and fall's setting in. I see my grass is not growing as fast, even though we've had all this rain. Things aren't quite as green. So it just kind of put me in this mood to make some botanical theme tags and probably work on some journal cards and probably a, a journal soon also. But yeah, it hasn't rained yet today. I'm sure it will by the end of the day, night, but it hasn't yet. Okay, that's real pretty. I like that yellow background. Okay, so let's do the yellow. Now this um, element is pretty wide rather than tall. So let's get our elements together here. Let's see what we're working with. See, so that kind of covers that up. You can see it a little bit, I guess, if I move it over to the edge, right? Okay. And we need our specimen window. You trim that. And I'm just trying to get it straight because then I end up with this little piece and I will find a project for those. So that'll be fun. Okay, let's bring a little ink. And one side of these is glossy and the other side is, uh, well actually they're both glossy, but one's kind of got a little bit of a sheen because of the plastic. So... Okay, and then if I put this about there, if I bring this up, well, maybe since this element is so wide, we're going to have to change the positioning, maybe something like that. I can go with that. Let's do that. Always change things up. Okay, that's good there. Of 
glue on the three sides here. There we go. I'm going to hold this up so I can center it. Pretty straight. There we go. Okay, now we need our tea card. That one's got a little bit of a purple to it. Let me see what other color I have. It's got a little, let's do this one. That's got some yellow on it there. Let's do that one. I've got a sneeze coming. Excuse me. <coughs> Ew, pardon me. My apologies. And I'm just cutting this down enough to fit inside there. That looks like that will work. So let's cut this one down like a tag, why don't we? Pretty good. That will fit right in there, just like that. Let me move these little bits out of the way. Okay, very nice. All right, so where is, did I just toss it? The definition portion. I think I just put it in the trash. Yep, I sure did. Okay, so this one is a Centran, Centranthus Ruber. It's from the Red Valerian Jupiter's Beard Fox Brush, the Valerian family. Hmm, never heard of it. <laughs> never heard of it. Inking on that. Looks a little long, but hopefully it'll fit on my tag. Yeah. that in. Just like that. Okay, let me grab some more trim. Okay, and then we need a piece of fabric for our tag topper. So right about there. And I'm gonna use my pinky shears for this. Just a small square rectangle. That should work.
find it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can relate. I almost feel like, I don't know, like naughty or... Um, when I don't use ink as so much on a project. I, I love inking. I love my distress drinks, don't get me wrong. But I um, challenge myself just to try not to use it as much sometimes. I say, you know what, I'm going to do this make or this project and I'm not going to use it. And um, I don't know, I feel, I feel some kind of way sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really explain it. Like I said, with the stitching, inking, that's another thing that always can be added at the last minute. I mean, if you don't ink, and then you decide to ink, you know, I mean, not on the inside elements, but around the edges and the outer edges, that's something that can always be added later. So, how about that? Very cute. What do you think, guys? Um, let's try and get one more done. Let's see. Um, let's do a cream colored one. I'm going to move quickly on this one, guys, because we're almost out of time. We may not get it done. I don't want to bring all the ones that are made back out before we end the video. Okay, so let's... Um, Trim that about right there. See, I'm rushing and not getting it straight, guys. Mm, that's the blessing of washi tape. That's a blessing sometimes. I'm rushing guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Something as simple as putting this down. There we go. Lock it up. There we go. Okay, I need book page. And we need a straight edge. Pretty good, okay. And we need some ink. And down we go. Well, 
And the book page, I don't know if I mentioned that, this is just from an old Reader's Digest, Vintage Reader's Digest. I think it's 1950s, I think. Nice aged pages, as you can see. Very old. It's not quite cracking yet. It's been cared for pretty well. It hasn't gotten too dried out. But um, I love the color. Okay. Now we need our specimen window. I'm going to love using those. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but probably some type of a specimen type element, but anytime we can elevate a project with something like that, it's always good to do and fun. Okay, so which one are we going to do on this one? I guess we're going to do this one, huh? Okay, so I'm going to trim that off. That bit that's sticking out. We don't need that. Okay. That'll go about there, so we can trim it off right there. Oh, and it broke into two pieces. Separated into two, so we'll have to that back down. Beautiful. And where we're positioning this one, the tag will come out from the right. And I think I need to trim that off just a little bit more. I'm going to try and trim that before the glue sets too well. So I don't want that sticking out through the specimen window, if I can help it. That one's on there. Okay. Which side is not glued? This side. Okay. And down we go. Okay. And we need our little small tag. Do the same thing. Let's check our colors. Let's use this red one. Trim it down. Looks like that's going to fit. Let's make a little tag shape. Pretty good. made some really pretty layered botanical tags here, I think. I think they came out really, really nice. So that'll tuck in right there with that glue catch. Okay, and we need another topper. Okay. 
and a piece of lace. piece of lace okay how cute is that not bad at all Move everything out of the way. We didn't get to our label, did we? Got to put the label on there. It's not complete without the label. And let me see if I can lift this up a little bit. I want to tuck that underneath if I can. It might let me. Yep. Just right there. Beautiful. There we go, guys. What do you think? And I still have three left. Well, more, but three that I have prepped. And here is the word. Pronunciation. Can't just forget that. This one. Okay, and that tucks right once the glue dries. It'll tuck right in there. Okay, guys, we are done. We got three done together. Let me pull them all back out. We'll take a quick look and I will say goodbye for today, guys. Here's the three we made together. Look how lovely. What do you think? And then here's the two that I made prior. So we've got a good start on our tags for my next journal, whenever that comes about. So I hope you liked the project today. Just some really quick, really easy layering and fussy cutting some images and making some really pretty um, botanical themed um, tags. Again, they're three and a half by seven. Okay, with a few different layered elements, bring them to life and that is it. So thank you so very much for spending some time with me, guys. I appreciate it. Until the next video, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.